Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, May the 11th. It's the fourth week in Easter, and week three in the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 59. David appeals to God's protection from Saul. And Luke 6, verse 39 to 49. Jesus teaches his disciples in parables about hypocrisy, good and evil, and strong foundations. And now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Hallelujah. Psalm 59. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah. Defend me. Deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Deliver me from the evildoer and save me from the violent and bloodthirsty. For they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for any offense or sin of mine, O God. They rush and prepare themselves for battle, for no guilt of mine. Awake, defend me, come and see. O Most High God of hosts, God of Israel, rouse yourself and help me, punish the heathen. Show no mercy to the wicked. They return at evening. They snarl and growl like dogs and roam about the city. See how they boast. Talks are on their lips. They say, who will hear? But you shall laugh at them. You shall laugh them to scorn. Because of your strength, I wait on you. For you, O oh God, are my defense. You are the God that loves me. You shall let me triumph over my enemies. Kill them, lest thy people forget. Scatter them by your power and bring them down, O God, our shield. Let them be caught in their pride for the sins of their mouths and for the words of their lips, for their cursing and their lying. Consume them in your wrath that they may be no more and let them know that you rule in Jacob to the ends of the earth. And in the evening they return, they snarl and growl like hungry dogs and roam about the city. They wander up and down seeking meat and complain and howl if they are not satisfied. But I will sing of your power and I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. For you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I sing, for you are my defense and my merciful God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 6, beginning at verse 39. Jesus also told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both of them fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye? But do not notice the log in your own. Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye, you hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. 
No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good, and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house, who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it, because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. And when the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, your praise is ever on our lips. Be our defender and refuge in times of evil. Deliver us from our enemies and guide us in paths of righteousness and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.